what's up friends welcome back to my channel you clicked on my video because chances are your schedules are busy you want to start a youtube channel just like i did and you believe i can help i know i can stay tuned <laughs> I'm going to share my experience starting my channel, but I want to stay away from saying full-time and part-time YouTuber, partially because that's going to mean something different for every person. The most important thing I'll continue to repeat throughout the video is consistency. The more consistent you are, the faster you will grow your channel. Let me repeat that. The more consistent you are, the faster you will grow your channel. I've had my channel for many years but I was posting videos little by little. My videos were boring, so I had little to no growth. Now I'm determined, I'm back. I wanna put out more consistent content that's valuable to viewers like yourself. I wanted to do this video to help inspire and motivate you the same way someone helped inspire and motivated me. Now let's get into the details. If you're like me, you're working somewhere and for whatever reason, you're inspired to start a YouTube channel. I'm assuming to one day get paid for your content and bring in more income. Back in 2020, I worked in the nonprofit sector doing various things like community healthcare worker or housing specialist. It was fulfilling work, but I knew it wasn't something I wanted to do long term. I was uploading videos little by little, filming from my iPhone, of course, and I just wanted to take YouTube more serious, take it to another level. Should I quit my nine to five to be a content creator? By no means am I suggesting you should leave your nine to five to create content on YouTube. Not yet, at least. Only you will know when the time is right to do something like that. I even have my nine to five as well, so the money flow doesn't stop, but one day I would like to have YouTube as another source of income. The key is to stay consistent with uploading videos and continue to provide value to viewers. Becoming monetized on YouTube. Now the way I'm approaching this YouTube channel and becoming monetized is staying consistent, cranking out content weekly, one to two videos just to stay consistent. If that's not your pace, it's okay. You go at your pace to stay consistent. Whatever your pace is going to be, don't stop uploading. Eventually you'll get monetized by YouTube and the money will flow in like a river. You might ask, what is there to talk about? What can you possibly make a video about? Well, I'll give you my example. I'm in the space of creating videos about cooking, construction, renovation, landscaping, sharing deals that I find at Costco, sharing my travel experiences, Amazon products. I'm out there. I'm talking about all this stuff, anything that can help the consumer. So there's a whole lot of things I can talk about and share with my community and other like-minded people like yourself. If you put in lots of effort, don't be discouraged. One day it'll pay off. I promise you that. If your goal is to have YouTube as another source of income, stay consistent with uploading, but don't just upload anything, upload good content that gives value to the viewer. That's the key. Add value to someone's life and you'll be rewarded by the YouTube algorithm because they will put your videos in front of many people. And that's what we want. We want more viewers, which can help grow your community, grow your channel, everything. That's a good thing. And that's what we want. I know some people will say stick to one niche and only do that, but that's not my personality. I like to talk about more than one subject, so I'll do that and grow at whatever pace is meant for me to grow at. I'm diversifying myself in a few different niches on my channel. You don't have to follow my path if you're not sure how to find a niche to talk about. Think about this for a second. If you don't know what niche to get into, think about what was the last subject you spoke to someone about without being forced to speak on that topic for more than 10 to 15 minutes. That's something you're probably passionate about and something that you could create a video on. It's that simple.
Start there and grow. The equipment that I'm currently using is my iPhone for recording. I use Canva for editing the videos and the mic that I'm using is Blue Yeti. I'll leave a link in the description below. My studio is sometimes in my truck or if I find a quiet place in my house where I won't be disturbed by my son who's running around the house, I'll go in the living room, which I'm currently in right now. Hopefully one day I'll have my own studio, a quiet place in my home, but at the moment, wherever I can find a quiet place, that's where I'm recording. Everybody can do this. You just have to find somewhere to start and that's your beginning. I want to close out with how to find time. If you have five to 10 minutes each day, use that time not to scroll on social media, but work on your recordings or Canva design or thumbnails, practice video recording, record yourself. If time is a huge issue, set your alarm, wake up early, give yourself more time so you can work on your content, do whatever you have to do just to start. I'll say it again, just start. I want to thank you all for your time in watching my video. And I hope this helped answer some questions you have about this lifestyle before you get started on your own journey. Let's all continue to grow. Let's build each other up and let's crush these goals together. Thanks again. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.